You can't even translate. Are you scared? Uh, yeah. I like pain, but are you too? She's laughing. She's laughing at me already. Pero si me quedé a miedo. Si él viene muchos días, te lo alcanzamos a terminar. A todo completo, sí. Si viene como esta vez, que no nos pongo una semana nomás, sí. A la semana una parte y después a todo Pero igual el todo el trabajo que de todas maneras, igual viene hecho y todo normal, ¿verdad? Sí, no pasa nada. Lo que tenemos es que saber para poder hablar con la hora de hoy. Para poder coordinar. Porque si él, por ejemplo, solo viene una semana, entonces le tocaría venir dos veces. Aprovechar la próxima cita y otra. Porque si no, ¿hasta qué día me dices que le estás a ver? Uh, when are you leaving? Saturday. Uh, Saturday. This upcoming Saturday? Oh, let's Saturday at 5, 45. Okay, and so it's Saturday. Well, it depends on how it today, that you don't have to present molestias, if you don't have anything, if everything is good, we could have a seat on Sunday to take a good impression and go to the next step so that the next person will be approved and not present today. Entonces, como para adelantarle algo. Claro, sí. Okay, vale. Entonces, ahorita que termine la cita, podemos hacerlo de, de mirar qué es lo que se sí, le dice. Para yo poder tener que... el registro acá. Porque hoy ya él queda terminado. Ok. Sí. ¿Listo? Ok, vale, gracias. Vale, le dije que. She's saying that you still need at least another two or three appointments. So because you're only coming one week, you probably need to come another time. And if the next time you come, you also come only for one week, then you need to come another well, time. I, well, I they can, need at least two more weeks. I can stay, I can come to where I stay a week and a half. Uh, That's what they need. They need at least like two weeks for you to finish everything. But if you can come only one week, then you you will have to make two Well, trips. I come every three months anyway. So that I'm going to Ah, perfect. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try to do something like something else sí, this time yeah. before you leave. In February, I'll be back again in February. In February, I'll be back again in February. Dile que la cita de hoy lo voy a especial. Oh, that's going to be funny. What? So today's day, they're going to like 
like um, put mm -hmm. anest anesthesia. Yes, they're going to put, put the anesthesia, so you're probably not going to be able to talk. Oh, we'll talk. Okay. Okay. So they're going to put some anesthesia on your mouth so it doesn't hurt that much when they take the, out the teeth. The and cap. then they the cap. The there you go, the cap. And, and then they, they put the provisional <laughs> and then they're gonna put a provisional cap on. Temporary? Yes, temporary. Till and if it doesn't hurt until Friday, if it doesn't hurt anymore, because it probably will hurt because your teeth is good, it's alive. So if it doesn't hurt until Friday, then on Friday they're gonna do something else, which which is like an image something. And we're do, they're gonna do it if it doesn't hurt. But if it hurts then you have to wait until the next time that you so come. What's the image? Okay. Para que la impresión. Okay, so it's to make the definite ones, the, okay. the definite caps ones. So this this cap is a temporary. It's a temporary, temporary. Yes. Okay. <coughs> Make sure you get all this needle, that long needle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you'll be okay. What a mercy! Oh God. I won't tell them if you cry. <laughs> Dijo que no se preocupe si llora. <laughs>
Look at that. Hmm? Look at that, what they're gonna do. So if it hurts, you have to let her know, okay? Oh yeah, I'm gonna move for something. Yes, 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 Open your mouth.
Here comes the needle again. Hmm? Here comes the needle again.
tanto cuesta que le una sonrisa? Digamos que depende. Depende del número de dientes. Digamos en el caso de cuando ya terminé todo el tratamiento. Pero ya no lo recomendamos. No solo como lanzamiento y bordes de este ¿Cómo? Solo como lanzamiento y bordes de estos cuatro dientes que son los que tiene de mm. Pero igual ya le doy todas las opciones que hay de diseño. Mm. Sí, ya se podría hacer eso apenas termine el resto de cosas sí. que se tienen que hacer, ¿cierto? Porque obviamente el diseño incluye caridas en resina, o sea, depende cuánto bien que sea arriba o abajo, o sea, más río, pero en él yo recomendaría eso. ¿Solamente los cuatro? Los cuatro bordes, solamente el borde, esto porque el pie es fracturado, es para que le quede para la luz. ¿Y solamente para esos cuatro dientes el primero tiene que terminar el resto del tratamiento o se puede hacer no. eso antes de irse? Sí, se lo puede hacer. Water. ¿Quieres que abra la puerta? Sí, por favor. Water. Me dice a la niña que me traiga el cemento, por favor. ¿La niña el cemento? Sí, sí, ya sé. Thank you. 
The what? The smile design. Yeah, to straighten the teeth out? Mm, not to straighten, just to make it look even, wider. Like, yeah, wider, whatever you need, right? Uh -huh. So I was asking her if you can do if you have if you can do that after you're done with your treatment and she said that you can do that even like, tomorrow this week. So whenever you will What's the smile design? So what she recommended for you is just for the four front teeth. Uh huh. Uh, she's going to like make it make them even. Like the borders, she's mm -hmm. just going to make them even because if they are, there are um, a little crooked. Yeah, crooked. Yeah, so she's going to like she can make them even. So you can get that done before. Yeah, we we can talk about the prices of the front, but she said that she only recommended only for the uh, forefront, right. not for all of it, because it's a little bit. No, no, she's gonna do it like right here. She can do it like right here. And then says how does it? She's gonna explain. Entonces, ahora sí, para explicarte cómo, cómo es, te dije que tú recomiendas solamente los cuatro enfrente por el momento, ¿sí? Sí. 
So she's gonna get on with that and then she's gonna explain why she recommends you only the first four for the moment. Because she has some thing you need the rest for now. Can you do that? Yeah. Let me, oh, okay. I can do a tourniquet from there. Yeah, you are well. You can only open this side. <laughs> yeah. It's on. It's on. So, yeah, it's on. Oh, it's recording. Ah, yeah, it's recording. It's on. Ah. Okay, so she's going to explain right now. What is one? Okay, the other one is not on. It's good. It's open already. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's, okay, cool. Design of the risk is todos los procedimientos que uno realiza para mejorar la forma, el color y el tamaño de los dientes. Uh -huh. De el menos invasivo es que yo estoy ofreciendo. So the one she's offering you is like the less invasive one. Okay, uh, for the. Yes. Entonces, ¿qué pensaría yo que con él sería suficiente porque los dientes de él son grandes y son claros? Con el dente pronto un laqueamiento aquí, una sesión aquí. Y los bordes de esos cuatro dientes quedaría perfecto. So she says that because your teeth are like big and they're clear, then it's okay just to do just the straight four, just the four So front. how painful is this? At the front, they're gonna give you. No, how painful? Side. Painful, not the price. Oh, painful. That's not painful. No pain. That's not painful because they're just going to align the teeth and then it's just going to do it like like a whitening. Uh huh. And that's all. And she says that. How do you know I'm not if I don't feel the pain? Huh? How are they going to do that with no pain? <laughs> no pain, because that's superficial. That's not like injecting anything or anything. She's just going to do something superficial. Okay, so they're not putting no cap or that on the mouth or nothing like that. Okay. 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 De perdular a perdular, listo. Ya sería más invasivo porque ya con eso yo le puedo incluso dar más forma a los dientes de que de este lado están como, si te das cuenta que la sonrisa de este lado está como deprimida, uh -huh. yo le podría dar un mejor contorno, pero eso es mucho más invasivo porque yo todo el diente se me estaría recubriendo con una crema artificial. La ventaja de eso es que, por ejemplo, si se fractura un algo y le está allá, le va a quedar con una cruz allá, entonces. Uh -huh. Por eso yo pienso que el más conveniente sería los bordes. Uh -huh. Existe otra cosa, una mejor opción, que es cerámica. En eso van los lentes pegados en los dientes. ¿Qué hace uno? Uno desgasta los dientes, en ese se habría dolor porque hay que anestesiar. Desgasta los dientes, toma una impresión, la manda al laboratorio y me mandan como una especie de lentes de contacto. Y se los pegamos en los dientes. En él solo se podrían arriba porque por el apiñamiento abajo no habría el espacio suficiente para claro. colocarlos. Uh -huh. Entonces igual colocaríamos esos lentes de contacto arriba, pero pasa lo mismo que el primero. Eso sí, normalmente sí, sí. no se fractura ni nada, pero lo que puede pasar en la primera fase es que se desalojan. Que se caigan, sí. O una o a veces no pasa, pero eso es el riesgo. Digamos que como él está viniendo cada tres meses, uh -huh. lo que pasaría sería que en la próxima manera se lo hacemos ya, pero con ese tiempo con el inconveniente porque no va a estar uh -huh. entonces serían las complicaciones que estoy pensando que se tienen que traer pero entonces tú dirías que para el como mejor hacer del tercero sí yo pensaría que en él lo mejor sería hacer lo menos la sustancialmente los bordes si decidiera hacer este cariño pero por las cerámicas ok so there are three different processes the first is the, the one that she already mentioned just for the fourth form uh -huh. okay but she says there's another one she doesn't recommend that one too much because it's with like a, like a feeling because your mouth is a little bit like color in here so they will like feel them so it's more even she can do that but she said she wouldn't recommend that one because what if they're like they eat root or something like right something. yeah and you don't, have to come back yeah, and, that. Yeah. and the other one is the third one and she also recommends mm -hmm. that it's good it's like contact lenses Right? So, for that one, <laughs> yes, for your teeth. Yeah. That one, I know. So, that one, um, it's a little bit more invasive, well, a lot more invasive. Because they have to put an station on it, and then and they they're going to. Like a cap? No. They're not going to put on a cap? Something like that. They're going to have to sand they're the teeth down, to like, um, file the teeth, what? and then put, they're going to have to shave the teeth and then put a cap on it? Something like that. No. Yeah, but it's kind of like a contact lens, so it's very clear. So it's just okay. on top of your teeth. Oh. So they are they're not really gonna follow shit. So that's hardly maybe one at the first time. 
I don't know if I have. She recommends that one as well, but like for your situation, because you have to come and go, then it's better just to do like the forefront and that's going to look good. Yeah, okay. Cool. No, never had done anything like No, never had braces in my mouth before. Not really even. Right. So at some point, you might get. That's why your teeth are crooked. Like the bottom. It's not okay. even, so that's why you're crooked. Okay, cool. Esperas a la sala y ya yo les digo para ahora que ya terminaron para que ya ese presupuesto de él está, lo que están de pago, pero para que incluyas las opciones de la No, pero me refiero para resaltar lo que ya habían hecho y todo esto. Ah, sí, ya te lo vas a seguir porque ya. Ah, qué cool. Es octobre, Esto se hizo en la oficina. Eso ya se hizo. Ay, esto que se hizo hoy. Porque estaba bien que quiero un precio diferente también. Ah, el más económico. Es que se le hizo el descuento a todos. Ah, ok. 